Now let's talk about the start shipment workflow we have in the smart contract. So when the user will click on the start shipment, it's going to give the pop-up model and there we need to validate the data which we already have in the smart contract to compare the data before we allow the user to change the status of the product. So what we are doing, we are taking the address of the receiver. So when the user will create the shipment, we're going to take the receiver address that which address is going to receive the fund, which address is going to receive the product. So that's what we are doing. And there we are doing the validation. If it's a correct address, then we are moving to the next stage where we are allowing user to simply change the status of the product. Otherwise, we are throwing an error message that you are not a valid user. Straightforward. After that, we are going to the update model where we are allowing user to change the state. So this update of the state will have a proper hierarchy. First is the pending transmit or maybe a warehouse. Like the way we get the goods to our home get delivered. The same workflow we have to follow here as well. So we have to check one stage with the another one and we have to follow the hierarchy. So that's what we are doing. After that, we are initializing this event so we can have the data on the chain which we can read. After that, we are storing this information in the smart contract and changing the state. So this is the start shipment workflow we have in the smart contract.